Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining how to reset the forgotten password on your Windows 10 without losing any kind of data. So if you are stuck on the login screen, you don't remember the password. And if you are looking for a method that should be 100% working so that you can successfully reset your password absolutely free without any kind of problem. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now before starting, let me clarify that what all you need in order to proceed and reset the password for Windows 10. Number one, you need any other computer like PC or laptop. Number two, you need a bootable USB. Number three, you will need the Rufus and number four, you will need the Iron ISO. Okay, so it's very simple to do. Just come to any other computer, any other laptop and then you will have to come to this website of Rufus. The link will be in the description. Now, once you come up here, you have to scroll down and you will find Rufus 4.3.exe. So you will have to click on it, close the advertisement and the downloading will be started. So once it will be downloaded, the next thing that you will have to download will be the Iron ISO. So once you come on this page, you have to click on download. And here you have to scroll down a bit. And here at the bottom in the file name section, you will find HBCD x 64iso So click on it again and the downloading will be started. I've already downloaded, so I won't be downloading again so that I can quickly show you how exactly it works. So once you have downloaded both these free software, next you will have to connect your pen drive that should be at least a 4 gigabyte. And once you have connected your pen drive to your computer, next you will have to bring up the Rufus. And once it will come up, it will automatically detect your USB drive. So you can see on my end, I have a USB drive of Kingston that is around 64 gigabyte. Okay, so make sure the right USB has been detected. And also make sure that you don't have any important data in that particular USB because all the data will be wiped out. So once selected, now in the boot selection, you have to click on select. And now you have to locate to the location where you have downloaded the iron ISO that I instructed you in the beginning. So locate to that location, select it, then click on open and everything all will be selected over here. So finally, you will have to click on start, then click on OK. And the process will now be started. Now it may take about like five to 10 minutes. So you will have to wait until this all work has been completed. All right, so finally the iron bootable USB has been now created. Now to be very honest on my end, it took about like 10 to 15 minutes. So it can be less or more. You have to keep some patience until it's all been done. So once it will be done, you will find the ready option here. Then you have to click on close. And now you need to connect this bootable USB to your Windows 10 computer where you want to reset the password. So let me quickly connect it. And once you have connected, on the login screen only, what you will have to do, you need to press and hold the shift key from your keyboard. Then on the right hand corner, you will find the power icon. You have to click on it while holding the shift key only. Again, while holding the shift key only, you have to click on restart. Then click on restart anyway. And now you can leave the shift key. The computer will now be coming in the advanced options. Now here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced option. And then you have to click on UEFI firmware setting because we have to change the boot priority so that the next time when we start the computer, it can start with that particular bootable USB. So click UEFI firmware setting, click on restart. I'm using a virtual machine here, so I will select the USB device. But on your end, depending on the different motherboard, uh, you have to look for the boot sequence or the boot priority order. And you have to change the boot priority order to this bootable USB. Okay, so select it, hit the enter key. And the computer will now be loading up with the iron ISO. So this may also take some time while loading the file. So you will have to wait again. And once it will be loaded, I will let you know what you have to do next. All right, so finally the iron OS just came up and it looks very similar to Windows 10. So now once you come to this page, you have to click on the Windows icon at the left hand corner then click on all programs then you have to click on security and here you'll find the password option click on it then you have to click on windows login unlocker 
okay click on it now this will display all kind of your user account which was being created on your windows 10 so if you remember my user account for which i forgot the password was techno this was the account name so whichever your user account is it will be displayed over here you have to select it and then on the right hand corner you will find the reset unlock option so click on it and then click on ok now it will take some time so you will have to wait and once it will be done it says password reset successfully so now we are all done so click on ok close it and then we have to restart the computer in the normal mode now so now this time you can see that our user account is not asking for any kind of password and if i click on sign in it will directly take me to my desktop okay without asking for any kind of password now once you come on your desktop if you want to now set the password then you can set it so that's all guys hopefully this solution will surely work for you because this work 100 percent and you would be able to successfully reset your windows 10 password and if this worked for you guys do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye